I knew exactly what I wanted. I just didn't know how to get there. Mentorship is gaining the confidence of the person whom you're going to mentor. HP has really opened up avenues for me to flourish as a scholar. The HP year was the turning point of my research as a scholar. I seek ways for engagement with other humanists. Break boundaries and forge ahead in humanities scholarship. As a country, we have not yet appreciated the place of culture in defining our development. In addressing this problem, the scholar has an important role to play. I've been leading a team which has been preparing a Bachelor of Culture and Heritage Management, which is going to be lodged in four universities, Chambogo University, Islamic universities in Uganda, Uganda Matters University in Kozi, and Kabale University. The collaboration between Cross Culture Foundation of Uganda and Chambogo University, and more especially Faculty of Arts, was an opportunity to us, and mainly for me, as somebody who is trained in archaeology and cultural heritage. Every community we'd go to, there was always a complaint that the, the young generation is disconnected from their culture. So the idea of engaging the youth in heritage in a positive way emerged. And as a result, CCFE established what we call our Heritage Education Program. We thought, in addition to what we're doing at secondary school level, let us engage the National Curriculum Development Center which we've done for the last four years. And we're happy to say now there's a topic on culture and ethnicity in East Africa. It is now going to be examinable for all young people in Uganda, secondary school. Fortunately, with support from UNESCO, we were able to come up with a program on integrating culture in universities. Chambogo was better placed because I was, at that time, one of the most qualified in terms of cultural heritage. Uh, and it's sister archaeology, which is my area. This collaboration is very important because it actually helped us to achieve one of our mandates. Under normal circumstances, it should be us to draft the programs, not an NGO telling us, look here, there's a gap. So this is going to be the first of its kind, a course that is specifically looking at and addressing issues to do with cultural heritage. I think that's really commendable uh, on the part of Chambogo University. And I think Makere University, uh, and specifically the college, has even a better leverage in terms of defining the, the parameters and, and how to actually expand and scale up the reach of heritage studies. For instance, we could visualize it as a node, as a center, uh, which collects all the multidisciplinarity in the different uh, units, in literature, in history, in philosophy, in gender studies, in social anthropology. There are some challenges. Uh, one of them is uh, to decolonize our literature. The thinking around decolonizing the university hinges a lot on the need to re-examine our heritage, utilize it for moving forward. That's part of the core uh, of the role of humanities in society, to be able to help society appreciate its heritage. We are really struggling to make people join the family of doing research, publications, and even issues of public lectures, because we have a lot of activities, and so these activities give very quick money here and there. And so people would prefer to run up and down other than concentrating on research. There are very few people who 
believe that research in humanities can resolve people's problems. Culture being able to address present day concerns is not very obvious. So there's a lot of effort that needs to be made and, and that's why we're also doing lots of research as an organization to illustrate the link between culture and development, to illustrate that culture is dynamic and that some elements will die naturally, but some values and principles are timeless. In Uganda, we are behind others in terms of recognizing the importance of culture in relation to development. For instance, Uganda remains the only country in the region that doesn't have a Ministry of Culture. One area in tourism in Uganda, which is now becoming the, you know, one of our, our main revenue uh, earners, is the fact that cultural tourism does, almost doesn't exist. It's only about gorillas and it's about you know, the natural heritage. Ugandans still have a fear to say we are Ugandans and we will modernize as Ugandans reflecting our own cultural identity and our own cultural values. In Uganda right now, because of the growing population, and the nature of our land as a, as a resource, I realized that even a historian, I can enter into the solution box. So we think that the students who are going to study these courses and the people who are doing researches in these areas will help the government to resolve some of the problems. In a country like Uganda, which is still developing, so many developments are coming up. And all this, you must do a cultural heritage impact assessment to show how this project will impact on cultural heritage. Through this program, people will learn to know how they can actually survive by uh, using their cultural heritage. They will be seeing heritage as a resource for innovation, for creativity, and therefore they can create jobs out of our heritage. What excites me to do this course at Chambogo University is I want to understand more about that mysterious Nakaima tree which is located in Mwende. Nakaima tree is the respectable tree among the Baganda, whereby they usually go, they ask for the peace, whereby you request everything from that tree. So it's somehow spiritual belief. The aspects in my culture I would like to research most is the religious norms and customs. For example, among the Acholis, every homestead had an oracle, which would combine all the family members. And whoever lived in that family, let's say the ancestors and even the newborns, were all initiated to that oracle. When I complete my studies, I will be awarded with a degree in cultural heritage. I will be able to teach about the cultures. For CCFU, this is really an exciting program because it uh, spells uh, continuity and sustainability of the work that we are doing. The outcome for us is that you're going to have a critical mass of professional heritage experts who are homegrown and understand our local context and can make use of it and conserve. Ultimately, we are going to have heritage cared for better. This course is going to demystify the concept that the university is the ivory tower of knowledge. It gives us the chance to go back to the community as the library of knowledge. Who knows what the future holds? I might become a medium or even a spiritualist.